Welcome to Tofu Gaming. Today we will be playing Pokemon Unite and this is another ranked match. I'll be using Charizard. Charizard is an all-rounder Pokemon meaning he can dish out a decent amount of damage while he also has a reasonable HP and defense. I am using Scopelens, Muscle Band, and Energy Amplifier for this match all at level 30. Scopelens and Muscle Band will help me with the attack speed, critical hit rate, and critical damage. While Energy Amplifier is an interesting item that you don't see a lot of players use within a standard or a ranked game or even a team competition. This boosts your damage after using your Unite move. So our main focus is to get to level 9 as soon as we can. We want to get to level 5 as soon as possible because it will give us a, a leap in terms of farming. Flamethrower is really useful in a sense that it leaves your Pokemon or your enemies in a burn state while you also get a speed boost or movement speed. We will try to get some of the bees. I think my ally went on AFK there for a bit. Okay. That was a bad decision. Duraludon didn't help us out there. We are returning to the bottom lane but we'll try to steal this jungle for a bit just to get to level 5. Anyways, I think Absol is fighting on the top lane. We're now at level 5. We will pull these enemies to the grass so that we will be both invincible. Flamethrower versus Elder Gas. Let's go. We'll run away for a bit. We're now up to level 6. Just one more level and we'll have our second skill which is Fire Blast. Which also deals a huge amount of damage versus Fire Spin. Okay, so we're fighting with Ivysaur. Nice one. I would have lost the fight if Doraludon didn't assist me on that one. Nice double kill right there. Fire Spin plus Flamethrower. We'll keep our distance right there. Fire Blast. The Defender Base. Okay. We got one right there. Hopefully we can get Elder Cast. We'll kill. We switch to Dredno. We'll get this wild Pokemon first. So that matchup will, won't get it. We'll try to help our ally right there. Okay. <laughs> we have about 1 HP. Nice. Duraludon had the last hit. So we got a heal right there, an experience, and a shield. We will save our Unite for later. Score there 40 points. We'll try to rotate by going to the center of the map and then to the top of it. We'll steal some of the bees right there. We use our Unite. Look at the damage output right there. That's 21% additional attack. Now there's four of them right there. And then there's just two of us. Me and Snorlax. Okay. I should have run away at this point. I underestimated Venusaur. With his uh, special attack and the low special defense of Charizard. I don't really think I can survive that. We will go to the bottom lane to try to defend their base and see if there will be wild pokemons to farm on. 
Okay, this white turtle is not looking at the minimap right there. Didn't see us coming. Okay, we got one. Whoops. Okay, that's two on one. Okay, they got the rally gun. I hope Sylveon can defend their base. Going to the bottom lane. Since Tredno is responding in a few seconds. Whoa. We just took the entire hit of matchups, you know. Snorlax is attacking Dredno alone. Then let's get this one. Let's try to rotate to the top lane. I'll get this wild Pokemon first. I'll steal this jungle for the meantime to secure extra experience points your goal is always to get to level 13 as soon as you can that way both skills that you have will be at its max level meaning enhance um, cooldown rate, enhance damage and whatever effect it leaves your opponents let's see if we can push for the top lane Snorlax is really aggressive right there I think he saw at least two enemies but he still pushed for it Okay, okay Let's run away from this one Okay, he's going to the bush. Let's attack him there Keep our distance. You can see his rapid spin is not inflicting any damage on us Oops, use his unite. We got our full heal activated right there Waiting for our unite Okay, it's 3 on 1. Let's, let's get going. So you can see the damage is really strong after using your Unite. We got Venusaur, Elder Gas. Let's see if we can also get Blastoise on the grass right there. Keep our distance. He can spin on us in, with low special defense. He can uh, kill Charizard pretty easily. There are other builds out there for Charizard and I also used um, Score Shield in the past. But with the recent nerf from 40% shield to 25, I wanted to test Energy Amplifier to see if the additional attack will really suffice. The only disadvantage there is you really won't be able to use the full potential of energy amplifier until you hit level 9 so that's your goal so it's the last two minutes really crucial right there I'll try to see if anyone will try to sneak in and score on the top lane since we still have that that's an easy 100 points for them since no one is going there and my teammates are attacking zap does aggressively I'll switch to the mid lane we'll use our unite as soon as we can our goal is not to kill them but to secure Zapdos we got it we got one, we got another one, and the third one, Venusaur. Okay, they immediately surrendered knowing that it's a huge point difference. So that's it. Feel free to comment uh, down below to, to tell me who you want me to use next. Click like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.